Interest rates can be a huge impact on our financial decisions, from whether we're buying a home to starting a business. In a high interest market, traditional financing options may not always be the best choice for everybody. Hi, I'm Lisa Peters. I'm with Carlson & Co. Real Estate Synergy Properties, and we're going to talk a little bit about financing today. When I bought my first home, the interest rates were 11.5%. I'm dating myself a little bit, but that just shows you where interest rates have been all over the map. There's some creative strategies that are coming into play right now for the market for both buyers and sellers. Sellers understand that interest rates are impacting their ability to sell their home. And buyers simply can't come to terms right now with getting a higher interest rate when they're locked in under 3%. So that buyer that wants to buy a bigger house, they feel like they're stuck. Well, for some buyers, you're really not stuck there's options. We know that when we have a low interest rate market, we have a frenzy of buyers. And so it makes it very, very, very competitive. And you've got to compete with those other buyers. We saw that over the last few years. And that drove up the prices in our housing market. Well, right now, interest rates for most people are sitting above 7%. So for a lot of people, that prices them out or makes that house payment a little bit uncomfortable. It's impacting first-time home buyers, and it's impacting that buyer that bought their first home. They may have grown out of it, but they don't feel like they can make that jump up. That's where creative options are coming in. And I just believe there's always a solution to everything, and there's no perfect market to be a buyer in. However, if there's sellers that are willing to be creative as well, you can bridge the gap. We've got sellers right now that are offering owner, owner financing. We haven't seen that for a while, but when you've got 40% of people owning their homes outright, they have the ability to carry that contract. They make interest on the payment and they're in the process of downsizing right now. So they don't need all their equity to downsize into that next house. There's also things called assumable loans. We don't talk about that a lot. We haven't had to. You can assume somebody else's loan and with it, their interest rate. Well, chances are if you're assuming a loan right now, you're assuming an interest rate that's probably below 3.5%. There's options. So if you're a buyer that's out there looking to get into the market, ask those questions. There's creative solutions for this market. If you're a seller, be open. Be open to maybe what that buyer needs. It's going to help get your house sold. Again, my name is Lisa Peters. I'm with Carlson & Co. Real Estate Synergy Properties. Let me know if you have more questions about interest rates or how to get into the market.